We don't have to clap. We are automatically in sync, Jeff. Beverage Buddies, we try dreams. Welcome back to Beverage Buddies here on the Stack Network. I'm Dave Moore. Joining me, of course, is your favorite co-host. Co-host. Uh, host. Co-host. Yeah. You're my favorite host. Ho- co-host. Wait. My favorite host of the uh, Beverage Buddies, Jeff Daly. Hi, yeah. Jeff. Hi, Dave. Hi, Jeff. Ben, it's Beverage Buddies Remote. Beverage Buddies Remote. Yeah, like the other 12 spinoffs of Beverage Buddies that were made in the original incarnation of the show. Count them. Count them. Uh, that's I, been a while. It has been a while, Jeff, and it is good to be back and to see you in the new year. Welcome to 2021. Hopefully this will be better than the prior year and the previous year and the year before that. They can't get worse, can it? Uh, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's only January, Jeff. It's, it could go, uh, could go anywhere. Uh, but as, as for that, Jeff, today you and I had a socially distanced outdoor beverage exchange yes and in that exchange we exchanged multiple beverages and one snack yes and yes. you you gave and I me was tearing down my christmas decorations yeah, tearing them down <laughs> <laughs> not putting them up no nope. uh this you know timing everybody timing is different than the reality of you watching this um so jeff you handed me something that i'm quite curious of one of the beverages we had to exchange we'll get there was the yep. same we both had the same beverage to exchange to each other that was pretty great yeah uh, this one on the other hand i think i remember seeing this in the store thinking yeah. that's weird and then thinking man i should do that on beverage buddies and that was when we were doing beverage buddies consistently yes back before all this stuff happened uh so jeff tell me a little bit about so- what you've you've provided us with here so i provide us coca-cola georgia peach right uh-huh. um actually candace my wife provided them to us she came home one day one day and, and had them and like bought them for beverage buddies so that was awesome <laughs> um so i saw them i was like wow i've never seen that flavor before and i still have not seen that flavor yet uh coca-cola georgia peach everybody um, yeah. first thing that strikes me, one, it's a very Coke Zero style bottle black. It's also extremely tall. I know, right? Uh, it's taller than a Mexican Coke. Yeah, taller than a Mexican Coke, taller than a 20 ounce Coke, but it is skinnier like a Mexican yeah. Coke is. Yes, it is. Uh, I assume that uh, because it's in one of these fancy glass bottles, it probably has real sugar cane in it. Yeah, I would hope so. Let's see here. Fake sugar cane. No, it's, it has <laughs> sugar cane in it. Okay. And it's really cool. It's a flavor I haven't had before. Like, I love vanilla. Cherry's okay. Not Georgia peach. I've never. Cherry vanilla is pretty good. You, you know, I went down to Florida uh-huh. a couple of years ago with Candace and her family. And uh, we went to the world of Coke. Okay. And we did the, the taste testing, the taste of the world. And there were some very unique flavors in there. And this was not one of them. This was not one of them. They, they, they had, you should go down there and try it if you ever get the chance. They have unique flavors from around the world. I very much like peach flavored things like peach lemonades, peach, peach teas are really good. Uh, yeah. So I, what I'm about uh, peaches. Do you like peaches? Peaches are okay. I think they're, uh, you get a slimy peach, it kind of ruins the peach. Oh, well, I like those peaches in cans, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Of course you do, Jeff. <laughs> anyway, sh- um, sh- should we bust this open or should we look at the date on these, Jeff? All right. So <laughs> as I was opening them up, I dropped them off. So I was like, I knew these were bought before the pandemic. <laughs> Prior 2020, so I was everybody. Like, oh, I wonder what the, de- the expiration date on these are. And I was looking at them. I don't know. I, it'll still be good. Candace took a t- taste. Guess when it expired? I'm going to say March 2020. <laughs> June 3rd of 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. So I don't know when when it was actually bought. <laughs> but it is packaged in a nice container. I don't think it would go bad, right? I, I mean, pop go bad? 
Pop can't go bad. <laughs> I mean, for context, everybody, I would like yeah. to establish we're recording this in the early December, late November of 2020. Yeah. Right? So this, this is quite expired. This is expired halfway through last year. To, to be fair, it was only a limited run. So... <laughs> so... So I would say that it's been a while. It's you, you have you can buy a four pack now from various sellers on Amazon for sixteen dollars and twenty five dollars new. It's it's carbonated. Yes. It's in a sealed glass bottle. Yep. Mine has been refrigerated today. Yes. Um, there's not much worse things that could happen to me in 2020. So I think drinking expired pop will probably not kill me. This would be the first time somebody's ever died, right? There's also a California raspberry flavor they had that Ooh. I never got to try. Oh, that sounds kind of heavenly. Yeah. I- I'm I'm going to bust this open. Now, do I need a bottle opener, or can I twist it up? Yeah, it's a bottle opener. Yeah, actually. of course it is. You know what? Let's just, Fancy. Let's just uh, do this correctly, everybody. Jeff probably already has this open because he's prepared. Yeah. I was going to do it where the camera could see me, but I need the desk, everybody. Such a tall bottle. Success. I immediately get a smell of something. Yeah. I don't know if it's peaches. Count the peaches. <laughs> yeah, count them. Count. Actually, it does smell like peaches. When I did open it in the bottle, I did get a, the hiss that it was still carbonated. It's not flat. It did. It, it did. It did carbonate when I popped off the top. So it, it is. I don't. It's not flat, everybody. It it smells like peaches, but it smells like peaches in that, like, cough syrup peaches way. Yeah. Not in the way that, like, you know, if you were to cut open a peach and take a big whiff, it's not going to smell very fruity and sweet. It smells like you threw a bunch of, um, you know, peach-flavored cough drops into something and then just took a big, like, whiff of it. And it's better than LaCroix, though, let me tell you. LaCroix, you get the hint of something driving by it. You know, have you ever had LaCroix? I have never had a single LaCroix. And the reason, the reason for that, Jeff, is this show right here. I said, man, LaCroix is the big hotness. It's the big cool thing. I should try none of those. So we can try them all on Beverage Buddies at some point. I've had some LaCroix. Uh Uh-huh. And let me tell you, it's it's like when you get like something flavored, like like let's say you get raspberry LaCroix. I don't know if that's a factual flavor. It's not raspberry flavored. It's the hint of raspberry drive driving by the factory. It's a hint of raspberry. In a dirty, dirty truck. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um All right. Just one last one last. Mm. <sighs> it does smell kind of good. I know, right? Cough syrupy, but but good. All right. I'm taking a sip now. All right. Fizzed up on me a little bit. Mm. Still carbonated. It's still carbonated. You taste that peach. You do taste that peach. Let me tell you what's missing, though. Coke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like... You took a took a small small spoonful of uh, of Coke, like a good fresh peach, okay, and then you mixed it into like some chlorine water. Yeah, <laughs> I know from a pool. So I looked it up. Georgia peach mm-hmm. stopped being produced right around the pandemic time. Just you know, like everything else. Yeah, and the same reason we can't get vanilla Coke right now, everybody. Yeah. So. It's still good. Is it's it still, though? It's like the, the peach. You the, know, it, you know, it's not. I wouldn't say the Coke's bad at all. It's still, it's not flat. It's still. No, it it doesn't taste expired. I mean, it, for all I know, it, for all I know, it does. I don't think I've ever had an expired Coke. We might be biased here. No, it doesn't taste like expired Coke at all. I've had expired Coke. <laughs> Do you know what's worse than expired Coke, though? The Coke you get at a fountain drink when they're running out of syrup. Yeah, yeah, no. This is better than that. 
This this Coke is still good. It's the actual flavor. That's not very good. Ah, you could definitely. T- they say peach. You can taste the peach. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I had like a mandarin orange question mark Pepsi during Pepsi? all this. Yeah, what? during all this. What? Um, I got it at Meyer. And it was in like a like a twelve pack, but they were in little skinny cans. And uh I wanna say it was was Mandarin Orange. You're right. It's Mandarin Orange Slice Soft Drink. Yeah. Um it was okay. It was yeah, kinda pineapple. like this. Hmm. It's kinda like this. Yeah, so so I'll be the first out there to say unpopular opinion, but I don't like cherry flavored coke either i'm not a big fruit drink and pop i'm kind of i kind of agree with you now the only time i do go out and get the fruit drink or pop it's like i either want fanta yeah yeah so i either want like coca-cola i know i'm getting a coca-cola with vanilla in it too but if i want that fruit flavor i go to fanta yeah you know like fanta so the, the fanta like the smack the face fruit drink fanta or crush or you know something that was right. designed to be fruit flavored mm-hmm. this on the other hand i don't know i'm just not i'm not entirely entirely feeling this i don't love cherry coke either i will take a cherry coke if they're out of regular coke now the only redeeming factor for cherry coke is cherry vanilla coke pretty good pretty good not as good yeah. as vanilla coke but i will accept Cherry vanilla Coke. Hmm. I do like the smell of this. I know. It's it's fake. It smells like cough medicine, but I kind of like it. <laughs> it's definitely different. Yeah, this is uh this is an interesting one, Jeff. If if you think about it, this Coke was packaged. Before anybody knew anything, these are made <laughs> prior. These were made pre-pandemic. <laughs> these are pre-pandemic cokes. The cokes nowadays, you can taste the pandemic. In them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. This is uh, this has been Beverage Buddies here on the Snack Network. Jeff, thank you yeah. for providing me with such an interesting taste in a yeah. beautiful Coca-Cola glass bottle. Georgia Peach, everybody. Coca-Cola, thank you for creating such a bizarre soda. Thank you yeah. for giving me the smell of peaches and cough syrup all in one bottle. Uh, and thank you for producing it and having me drink it after it expired. And thanks for letting it go past two year, almost two years after expiration. It's <laughs> yeah. still tasting okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Beverage Buddies here on the Snack Network. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below with anything you guys want us to try here on Beverage Buddies or on Time to Taste or Taste Buds or any of the other snack-related shows we're doing here on the channel because we're here to serve you the wonderful Snack Buddies. Everybody, subscribe. BB with DM and JD signing off. I love how much of this you remember and how much of it I've forgotten. (laughs) (laughs) brings me joy everybody bye bye beverage bodies we try drinks 